what's going on guys thank you for watching i hope you're doing great my youtube family thank you for all the support today we're going to be talking about welding lenses automatic lens do you need an automatic lens what do you need it for is it worth it buying it was it pros the cons what about the fixed shade lenses do you need a fixed shade lens stay tuned guys ¿Qué onda chavos? Bienvenido a otro episodio de Arc Show. Muchísimas gracias por todo el apoyo. Hoy vamos a estar hablando de lentes de soldar. Como ustedes saben, nosotros tenemos una compañía que es Snake Belly. So it's made by Arc Show. Entonces nosotros hacemos lentes de soldar. Pero no estoy aquí para venderte mi lente. Estoy aquí para explicarte. En realidad vale la pena comprar un lente automático, una sombra automática, un vidrio automático, un lente solar automático. ¿Qué son las, las cosas buenas que te va a ofrecer ese lente? ¿En qué te va a ayudar? ¿Qué te va a beneficiar? ¿Y qué te puede perjudicar? No nomás vamos a hablar de eso. O sea, ¿Qué es la diferencia entre un lente automático y un lente de, 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 de vidrio? Uh, fake shape, como le llaman. Este, vamos a hablar de todo eso, chavos. Quédense aquí. Muchas cosas vienen en camino. Let's talk about welding lenses. Automatic welding lenses. Is it worth it buying an automatic lens? I'm pretty sure a lot of people knows that we own Snake Belly. So, what's the the pros uh, of, of of having an automatic lens? All right. So I'm gonna tell you straight off like that. This is our th this this lens. First of all, this lens you can use it with anything. Uh, make, take, flush course, take anything you can look yes you can look through the gap it won't flash that's that's why that's what well, we known for and it, it does have warranty there's a bunch of automatic lenses out there but i'm not i'm not, I'm not here to tell you about my, my lens everybody knows how, how good quality our lens is so we're just gonna leave it like that i'm here to tell you about the automatic lens all right so automatic lens where is it going to help you and is it worth it buying it all right so Let's go to pipeline. So whenever you're on the pipeline, you have, you, there's a lot of things. People that make videos saying that you cannot arc on the outside of the pipeline, the, on the side of the pipe and this and that, they haven't been on the pipeline to be honest. I've been on the pipeline and if you arced on it, uh, I mean, it's, nothing's gonna happen. They will, they will make you grinding, you know. They're not gonna cut it, they're not gonna, that's bullshit, they're not. If it's your first weld, it might, but I mean, if you've been there for a long time, or not a long time, but if you've been there for a couple of months, nothing's gonna happen. All they're gonna tell you like, hey, just grind that, please. Uh, you can be doing that. They, they, they will tell you something, but they're not gonna run you off. All those people that tell you that, they're a bunch of liars. They don't know, they haven't even been on the field, to be honest. Anyways, that's, uh, that's, another, uh, that's another video. <laughs> um, so, uh, but you do, wherever you go, you do want to give out the, your best quality, right? So, uh, this is where the automatic lengths come in. So, on pipeline, obviously you, you don't want to be arcing outside the pipe, outside the bevels, uh, too much because you will get fired. It's like every job, you know, you're, you're fucking up, they'll, they'll run your ass off. So, you need one of these things, especially because if we're gonna use a pancake, like on uh, this case, so you're using a pancake, you cannot do this, you know, like like the like the like the pipeliners or like the the, the sugar scoop that you can just go like that and the, the hood comes down and you can be able to weld it. This one, you have it on all the time, and then you you take it off, and then whenever you put it on, you put it on with both of your hands. But if you have a fixed shape, like if you have a, a, a just a glass, you're not gonna be able to see. So that's why you need an automatic lens. I'm not telling you to arc outside the bevels, but if, you, if it happens one time, that's fine. Don't don't stress out, don't, nothing's gonna happen. All you do gotta do is grind it, put a little fire on it, you know, make it look nice, tie your biscuit, and you'll be good. Don't, don't sweat it. But if you keep doing that, and if you have a fixed, uh, a fixed, shape, uh, a fixed shape lens, which is uh, the glass lens, I do recommend you to get you any automatic lens. Now, 
for pipeline, automatic lenses, any lens works. Any lens is gonna work. I do recommend one of the lenses uh, that my friend he's selling is uh, there. There, there. It's called Rod Shield. Rod Shield. Go check them out. Uh, it has those have like the blue puddle, like a uh, uh, really really blue, like 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 the wind lens. If you guys know, if you guys been on the on the game for a long time, you know which one I'm talking about. All right, now let's talk about the fixed shape. Where is it gonna help you? How is it gonna help you? Let's go back to TIG welding. All right, so any 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 welding lens, if it's a fixed shape, if it's automatic lens, it's gonna work anywhere if you're doing it on a flat surface, you know, like if you're just doing that. But I know you guys are here for because of pipe welding. So, so let's go back to TIG welding. All right, if you wanna look through the gap, you know, our lenses, are made for that. You are gonna be able to look through the gap and it's not gonna flash. Most of the lenses don't. As soon as you start back feeding, it starts flashing on you. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this clear, guys. No automatic lens is meant to back feed. What does that mean? Is because you're looking through the gap, you cover the sensor, so obviously this thing is gonna turn off and on. It's gonna start flashing on you. Why? Because you're not giving them the arc. Now, our lenses have sensitivity. Any lens that has sensitivity, you can adjust the sensitivity, put it all the way, you know, max it out. Why? Because it's gonna help you a lot. If it's, you can, you can still be able to look through the gap and, you know, and, and still be welding and it's not gonna flash on you. Now, I'm not saying all of them, most of them. Ours, you can put it on sensitivity all the way up, and you'll be good. But, there's nothing better if you're gonna back feet like a, like a fixed shape. Why? Because that's, that thing is never gonna flash on you. Because it's a solid dark, it's a, it's a glass. It's, you know, it's, it's, unless you break it. So, where does the fake shape come in handy? Whenever you back feed it. You wanna back feed, you don't wanna have any problems? Go with the fake shape. Thank God, we'll be working a lot on these lenses and you can be able to back feed. But I'm not gonna say it's not gonna flash on you. It, it all depends how you position yourself. Because if you're covering, it's like you're putting tape on the sensors, that thing is gonna flash on you. So basically, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's how you position yourself. But any lens that has sensitivity lens, it is gonna be way, way better than just an automatic lens that is just one shape. But like I said, this is just for TIG welding. Now, let's go back to stick welding. How does the fake shape affects you whenever you're on pipeline? It will affect you if you put a fake shade on this, it's always gonna be dark. So whenever you put it on and you strike an arc, you're not gonna be able to see where you're gonna strike an arc because it, this thing is dark, it's not automatic. So what's gonna happen there, you might be striking arcs outside the bevels. Now, like I said, one time, two times, they're not gonna tell you anything, they're just gonna make you fix it. But if you keep doing it, you will get run off, you will get fired. So keep an eye on that, guys. So if you're pipelining and you like to work those six shapes, it is good, but if you have the, the like the, the pipeliner hood. If you're using a pancake on the pipeline, I strongly recommend you any, not just mine, now I mean not just ours, not just the not just the not just the snake belly or outlaw. Any lens, any I recommend you any automatic lens as long as it works. So just go look at the reviews and then you go from there. But as long as it works, any automatic lens works for the pipeline and it's gonna make life easier on you. If you're at a shop, either both of them work because you can, the pipeline, you, I mean, you guys know that the pancake, we use it for, for, for the outfit, for the outside, for, because of the sun and all that stuff. But if you're in the shop, you can use either a uh, fix or uh, automaticness. Uh, now, let's go to TIG welding. How is it gonna help you if you have a, a, a automatic lens? So how is it gonna help you? 
Let's say you're in the rack, you're in the, on the plants, and you're in the rack. Now this homeboy on the left has the fix shape with the flip, uh, with the with the pipe liner um, hood. This homeboy on the right has uh, the same hood but with an automatic lens. But they're in a really tight spot. So what's gonna happen? The one with the fix shape. He's gonna be like this, trying to look up and then trying to bring it down, but it, he's not hes not gonna be able to do it because once he starts moving, he loses like his point where he's gonna weld. And, and whenever this comes down, since it's a fixed shape, he's not gonna be able to see anything. Now the, the guy with the automatic lens, it's gonna go, he's just gonna put it on. He doesn't have to look at anything. He's just gonna put it on. He's just gonna put it on and he's still gonna be able to see like here like one two three four five six you know what i mean so whenever that guy with the automatic lens is he's gonna get in there he's gonna start welding with no problems he doesn't have to move his head at all why because he, it's an automatic lens as soon as you start welding it's gonna turn on that's why it's so important to have both of them the, those fixed shades they're not expensive at all to be honest uh the the, the 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 automatic lens i mean it goes from from 50 or 40 i believe all the way to 250 i believe i don't know ours is not that expensive but i know i heard that there's there's, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, automatic lenses that they're so expensive but uh yes guys so if you're on the market for buying a welding lens check us out there's a bunch of Ala Leather that sells a bunch of them. There's a, there's a bunch of uh, uh, um, brands out there, good brands. Like I say, always look at the reviews and then just, uh, or ask questions, you know, ask me, ask anybody, hey, have you ever worked with this lens? Is it worth it buying it? Is it worth it spending 100 bucks? Is it worth it spending 80 bucks, 70, 120, 150, 250? So just ask around, guys, and then you'll find out if it's good or not, because I don't want you to throw your money away. All right, guys, before we leave, I just want you to take the time to go to our website, art-show.com, artshow.com. So we have the new thing, the new, we have the new products, which is the remotes. We have one year warranty on these remotes. Ships for free, guys. So we can use them for Miller, Lincoln, uh, and there's a bunch of machines that we can use and just ask us uh, there's options right there on the website and you can buy them it, ship, it ships the same day and then um, it has it has one year warranty ¿Qué onda chavos? Este, vamos a hablar de los lentes de solar. Vale la pena comprar un automático, lente automático. Este, y no te, les, no te estoy diciendo este, este es el de nosotros, Snake Belly. Ustedes saben que Archo es el dueño de Snake Belly. But, no, esto no significa que yo te vengo a ofrecer mi lente. Y hey, mi lente está con madre, está mamalón, no te lo juro, no te lo, no, y tiene garantía. De eso no hay, no hay duda, compadre. Pero, este, estoy aquí para enseñarte, para explicarte si vale la pena o no vale la pena si gastar el dinero vale la pena o no te, te voy a decir para qué sirve eh, en qué te va a facilitar las cosas y qué es la diferencia que tiene entre el que es de vidrio solo o wow, fake shake que le llaman uh, sombra como le llaman o eh, automático bueno vamos a empezar con el automático uh, vamos a decir que andas en la línea en la pipeline que la mayoría de, de la gente que mira estos videos pues esa es la meta de ellos andar de world is pipeline o single hand lo que tú quieras pero bueno vamos a decir en la pipeline so, entonces cuando estamos en la pipeline guys la mayoría nosotros usamos un casco que se llama pancake ese casco este es este entonces cuando tú uno, cuando uno se lo pone esta madre no, no es como el otro del Tiger que le puedes hacer para arriba y luego le haces para abajo y se te baja solo, no. Esta madre tiene como un elástico atrás, entonces se, se te aprieta a la, a la cabeza, ¿verdad? Entonces tú te lo tienes que poner así, te lo pones y luego ya puedes, por, pues obviamente puedes soldar. Pero si tienes un vidrio, de, que es vidrio normal, cuando te lo pongas ya no vas a poder mirar dónde vas a, vas a soldar. Ahora, hay mucha gente que te dice... Te van a correr si soldas afuera del cordón, o sea, afuera de los bebos. Eso es mentira. O sea, sí te van a correr si lo sigues haciendo a diario, ¿verdad? Pero si es como una vez y luego 20 soldaduras hiciste otra, no hay pedo, nomás de grainearle poquito y todo. No, te, no van a cortar ni van a parar la línea por ti, eso sí te lo aseguro. Si la estás cague, 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 entonces sí, te van a mandar la chingada. 
pero este bueno entonces aquí, aquí es donde entran los lentes automáticos por eso yo les recomiendo que agarren un lente automático para que el momento que tú te pongas el pancake puedas mirar dónde vas a arquear y no uh, le pegues con la varilla o el electrodo afuera del cordón ¿Qué pasa si pones un vidrio de, de, de esos que están todos negros? Entonces la, la más, lo más seguro es que vas a arquear, no te estoy diciendo que no, vas a arquear afuera del, del cordón. Alguien va a decir, eh, güey, pero pues podemos usar el otro casco, güey, o sea, este. Sí, lo puedes usar, pero ¿por qué usamos en la pipeline el pancake? ¿Por qué lo usamos? Porque eh, te cubre, te, te sella todo esto, te sella todo aquí. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que pasa? El sol no te entra. Esta madre está bueno, o sea, el, el casco está con mar y todo, pero el problema es de que te entra el sol por aquí y no te deja mirar bien. Te, o sea, te, te está molestando. Puedes soldar y todo, pero te está molestando. Entonces, por eso usamos el pancake. Ahora, vamos a, 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 a las refinerías, a las plantas petroquímicas o como le quieras llamar. ¿Qué es lo que, qué es, uh, en qué, en qué, cómo podemos usar un automático y uno fix shape? Ok, cuando estás en, en vamos a decir que estás, uh, los dos traen el casco, como el que les acabo de enseñar, el que se hace para abajo así, este, y uno, pero el camarada de la izquierda trae el lente que es un vidrio todo así sólido y el camarada de la derecha trae un lente automático. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Vamos a decir un ejemplo que les llegue a tocar una pinche soldadora que está bien incómodo, que estás así soldando y estás así, te mueves y te pica una pinche pipa por atrás las nalgas y, o sea, es un pinche pedo. Entonces, estás bien incómodo. Si estás bien incómodo ya, imagínate el, el vato de la izquierda que trae el, el vidrio negro. ¿Cómo? Tiene que llevar, tiene que estar mirando con sus ojos, o sea, tiene que estar mirando va, con su vista, ¿verdad? Obviamente, pero trae el casco arriba. No va a tener tiempo de hacerle así, va a estar batalla y batalla. Ahora, si traes una lente automático, ¿qué es lo que va a pasar? Tú te pones el casco y ya listo para ir, ya nomás vas mirando, ¿por qué? Porque está apagado y al momento que empiezas a soldar, ya se pone negro. So, eso es un beneficio que tienes. Ahora, vamos al otro. Si quieres andar haciendo como alimentando la pipa por atrás. Nuestro lente, gracias a Dios, hemos trabajado mucho en él. Y gracias a Dios, con nuestro lente sí puedes uh, backfit, como le llaman. Alimentarlo por atrás, meter la varilla por el medio y, y soldarlo. Sí se puede. Pero no todos los lentes automáticos hacen eso. Gracias a Dios, nosotros hemos trabajado en el de nosotros. Y gracias a Dios, nos está yendo muy bien en ese aspecto. El de nosotros tiene un botón de sensibilidad. Entonces, cualquier lente que tenga sensibilidad, yo les recomiendo que le suban toda la sensibilidad para que puedan, uh, para que no les flashe tanto, vamos a decirlo así. Pero no hay nada como tener un lente de vidrio si vas a hacer el root o la raíz y vas a mirar por entre medio de los, del, del es, el espacio, del gap, si vas a mirar por entre el gap. La, el automático lente, lente automático puedes mirar por el gap, pero el problema es de que lo que va a pasar es que si cubres los, los sensores, es como si tú le estás haciendo así, pues no mames, se te va a apagar, ¿verdad? Este, pero como les digo, nuestro lente sí puede hacer eso, pero no todos los lentes automáticos pueden hacer eso. A lo mejor gente que me está mirando en Australia, España, Argentina, Canadá, Rusia, no sé, en todos lados, o sea, no van a tener esta marca, pero pueden conseguir otra marca. Pero yo les recomiendo que si van a hacer backfit, les recomiendo que se, no traten de mirar por, si es un lento automático, yo les recomiendo que se bajen y se posicionen más abajo. ¿Por qué? Porque les va, va a empezar a plagarse y a aprender. Esa es una, una de las cosas del, del automático que puede hacer eso. Como les digo, no todos los lentes hacen eso. Gracias, gracias a Dios el de nosotros no lo hace. Pero sí hay lentes que lo van a hacer y te vas a quedar decepcionado y vas a decir, ¿para qué gasté mi dinero? Entonces, antes de comprar un lente automático, te recomiendo que preguntes, mira los reviews y, y, y si miras que todo está bien y mira que tengan garantía y todo eso, entonces ya puedes a, 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 entonces hacer tu compra con más tranquilo, más tranquilidad. Pero bueno, chavos, este, esperemos que les haya gustado el video. Eh, vamos a, a venir a, con, video, con nuevos videos. Antes de irnos, no se les olvide ir a archshow.com, arc-show.com. Acabamos de sacar los, 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 uh, los, ¿cómo se llaman? los controles de, para soldar. Estos jalan con la Miller. 
Uh, tenemos para que jalen con Lincoln, con máquinas con miles de la CST, la STR, la, la 350, la, 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 la Pi Pro, la, la, la 400, la Big Blue Pro. Uh, uh, mándanos un mensaje, ahí tenemos, uh, en la página tenemos una descripción con cuáles máquinas son compatibles. Valen 130 dólares, free shipping y tienen un, un año de garantía. Entonces, man, you can't beat that, to be honest. Este, no se les olvide, chavos. Este, muchísimas gracias por, el, por todo el apoyo. Eh, vienen nuevos videos. Vamos a hacer cosas nuevas. Este, gracias por todo el apoyo que nos dan y gracias por seguir mirando los videos. Ustedes son los que nos hacen a nosotros. Nosotros no somos nadie. Nosotros siempre estamos aquí para explicarles este, lo poco que sabemos porque hay mucha gente que sabe mucho más que nosotros. Pero bueno, muchachos, que Diosito me los bendiga y los miro en la próxima.